Not long ago, there was a man, an angry guy, awkwardly aging, committed, but kind of self-destructive, whining his way through life till ambition and circumstance conspired to deliver an opportunity no one except a megalomaniacal actor with nothing to really lose would consider. So then, of course, this guy puts, oh yeah, this guy is you, in case you were wondering, puts on a dress and wig and heels and actually gets the part, and surprisingly, everything goes very well. But then, and how do I say it? You fucked it up. You really fucked it up. There's a moment at the beginning of the second act in Tootsie when everything has gone wrong for Michael Dorsey. His roommate named Jeff, we start the second act and he basically is summing up how badly Michael Dorsey has screwed up his life as we've seen in the first act. But anyway, you get the point, you screwed the pooch. Epic fail, I hate to say, I'm happy to say, I told you so, but it makes me so happy. I told you so, I told you so, I told you so, you fucked it up. Robert Horn and I, we thought it would be kind of subversive to start act two with this giant, you know, entre act that's very fast and very exciting. And then when you open, when the, when the curtain opens, so to speak, it's just two guys on a filthy couch, like just staring into space for a long time. <laughs> and then finally, when someone says something, it's Jeff and he just starts singing. You went tits up. I went tits up. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were you bit made. The dirt. I bit the insane dirt. in the membrane. Good song. A major malfunction. I really the blew it. Of the Hindenburg. Oh, the humanity. You busted up. I did. The, the wheels came off my bumper car. car. You fell on your Complete face. disaster. You you Everything looks Ball really bad. I crashed and burned. Water. Fan kick. Fan kick. The line that came to me first was the idea of Jeff after sitting on that couch for, you know, a long silence, just saying, "Let's recap." Just the idea of the, him saying that as an opportunity to just lay into Michael about how stupid he's been <laughs> with his choices. Because all the way through the first act and through the show, Jeff, who has his own problems, has also been this uh, voice of reason as well as a voice of, you know, insulting comedy. And that's what this song is. 